How's it going, folks? Now, today we got an exciting video because my friends over at ReptiZoo have sent me this very large mystery package. I mean, god dang, look at the size of this bad boy. Uh, this mystery package is supposed to be for my tegus, which I'm very excited for. Always excited making a tegu video. So uh, let, let's jump right on into this thing and unbox this thing and figure out what they sent me. And like I said, boys and girls, this package comes over from my friends over at ReptiZoo. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about them and all the cool stuff they have in a minute. First things first, I want to open this. Unfortunately, don't got my Baggins blade. If you guys don't know what that is, well, you haven't watched enough of my videos. So we're going to have to use these tiny little scissors, which um, just really don't have the same cinematic effect. So not effective and... Jesus, come on. I'm going to do a Wolverine. Just use brute strength, that's honestly all I needed. What do we have in here? <laughs> so awkward to... Oh, check this out. Oh. Check this out, boys and girls. Oh, man. Ooh, take a look at this. Some new UVB domes. All right, so we got one. We have, we have screws. Ah, here we go. We also have the bulbs. Awesome. All right, so one dome, one bulb. There's still a couple more things in here. Let's, oh, and we got another one. A lighting combo kit. What does that mean? Board. This is all very confusing. All right, all right, I'm a little bit more up to speed. So it looks like all of this stuff is gonna be in the box. That stuff just fell out. So like all this, all this stuff was one unit that was in the box. It just fell out of the box. Very awesome to have some new UVB with these new slick designs. Uh, most recently, I've just been using the ZooMed UVB, but this one's gonna be a lot thinner and a lot more Slick, it's got that nice slick design, very nice. Pretty excited to put this thing together. Fortunately, these bad boys might have come uh, a, a little bit late. Uh, I know for sure this one's gonna have to go into storage for the meantime because Rosemary, our red tegu, is actually in brumation. She went into brumation pretty qu quickly after when we first got her. So uh, her lights are off, there's really no need to set this up. However, I think Blue and Bertha are still awake. We'll head over and check them out, and if they are, then we'll set this up for the meantime, and at least before they do go into that brumation for that couple of months, they at least have some new UVB to enjoy. As you guys may or may not have known, Old Dakota had just a little bit of an issue with the UVB when we moved the Tegus. Now when we first moved them with the fixture that we had, it's just a regular grow light and the issue with that was, well, I'm not actually entirely sure what the issue was. What I can tell you, the things started going on the fritz, it was burning bulbs like that and we ended up burning out the UVB bulb, which meaning for a little bit now they haven't been able to get UVB. This is why I'm very excited to see that we have some brand new UVB bulbs from our friends over at ReptiZoo. Uh, let's see if they're actually awake because I'm not entirely sure to be honest with you. Like we we got Bertha up and about, however, Blue over there seems to be in there. You, you, you kind of see his little tail poking out from that little shoebox type thing. The fixture we were using, it's actually a grow light. Um, I'm, again, I have no idea what happened. So today we are going to take this out, install the new UVB bar, and actually break this enclosure. Looks like I gotta change a bulb too. It looks like only one's running right now. Uh, we can finally have a light, a lit, a lit Tegu enclosure, which would be very exciting. All right, boys and girls, it's time for everyone's favorite time, and that's gonna be Old Dakota doing manual labor while you guys get to watch a montage. be real with you guys I don't understand how this how this happens <laughs> um I will have to figure this out I thought this was gonna be an easy video to make great
I am constantly amazed at what a difference just UVB lighting not only does for the benefit of the animal, but also the lighting. Check this out, guys. Check this out. Look at how much more bright it is in here. We got blue. I guess it's a little bit camera shy. It was out a little bit earlier, but they all know he's coming out. He's coming out. And then we've got Bertha over here bassing. One of the domes did fall and I think it broke or at least the bowl broke and I got to go fix that. But both these Sega's doing awesome. We got blue coming out. Hey, doing big buddy. I haven't seen you in a minute. Look, I thought you were going down for brumation, but it looks like you aren't. Man, look at what the UVB does on those high whites on this blue, black and rock crop. Blue, 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 blue. This blue and black and white cross tagger. Now, are you hungry? Nah, you're nice. Look at you. Get those butt scratches. Oh boy. That's a good tagger right there, boys and girls. That's a good boy. Look at this young man enjoying some butt scratches. Absolutely awesome. Love these guys. I'm not going to do that with Bertha for, um, well, obvious reasons. And just take a look at that nice compact design. It's gonna be a lot smaller than your standard T5 UVBs. Uh, personally, for me, I got the uh, larger UVB, so the 10.0, or the equivalent of a 10.0, just because it is a little bit higher up than what the usual UVBs are, so that way they're still gonna have those rays go down and they're able to absorb them. Absolutely awesome. You love to see a nice bright enclosure. It has seen some better days, and I got some sheds to pick up and stuff. Um, as you guys know, these guys will be moving downstairs after after they do brewmate and go up for the 2023 cycle so we've kept this place a little bit more sparse and that's just because of the fact that i have to move this thing downstairs in just uh i believe like four months from now maybe even less so we're gonna have these guys up here for just a little bit longer and then eventually they will be put into the first people they're not people, Dakota. Into the first reptiles that are going to be utilizing the downstairs portion of this building. Alrighty, boys and girls, one last look at the lovely couple. We got Bertha on right over here, and then Big Blue right there. Wish Rosemary could share in the same UVB amazingness. However, she is down for brumation. Hopefully, these guys will be down soon as well, uh, because it, it's time to brumate. They need to get with the program. Real quick before we head on out of here, I just want to give a huge shout out to Reptizoo for making this video possible. Whether you guys are in the market for UVB, be custom enclosures, glass terrariums, or just the equipment you need for your reptiles, Reptizoo has you covered. They have a multiple different line of products ranging from heat projectors, domes, UVB lights, custom enclosures, glass terrariums, stackable, and so much more. If you guys are interested in getting any of those products that I just mentioned right now, make sure to head down to the link right down in the description to get yours today. And as always, boys and girls, thank you so much for taking the time of your day to follow us over here at DBCB Exotics. I gotta go take a shower after all the dirt that got on me from changing out those UVB bulbs, but I will see you next time. Until then, goodbye.